Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for a, another episode of SMPDX Season 4, and today we are going to be, well actually, I don't really know what we're going to be doing today, I just don't really have too much of a plan, I thought I'd hop on and play some, and just get some odd jobs done, but I think the first thing we're going to do is we are running low on some resources, I think. Let's go check what resources I'm running low on over in Camera Crew HQ over here. Okay, so let's have a look. How, many, how much wood do we have? Uh, we got a fair bit of wood. We could, we could use some more dark oak logs and normal oak. We don't have much planks. Yeah, I think some wood might be in order. We've got a ton of bricks. No terracotta, though. What are we looking at for these sort of resources? Okay, we're looking good for sort of mining resources. So we need to, I guess, get, get some wood. I mean... Yeah, I think wood is the priority for right now, so we're going to head over to Ranger's Tree Farm, uh, where he's got basically a couple areas where we can chop logs. Uh, we will stop by the mob farm to get some bones for bone meal as well on the way, and then I guess we can farm some trees. Yeah, that, that sounds pretty good. Alright, so we're just popping into the mob farm. And let's hope there are some bones. I haven't been down there in a while. It's not looking promising. Oh no. Okay. Let's hope this side's a bit better. Yep. Alright, some bones. Alright, we got some bones. Good. That means we can grow saplings and make lots and lots of wood. My plan is to... Alright, this is hard. I, I feel like some of, some of the builds in here aren't really uh, elytralous friendly builds. So... That needs to be worked on, but yeah, we're going to go over to Ranger's place over there and make use of his tree growing areas and get a, a full shulker box of spruce, oak, and dark oak if we can. That should be the plan. Okay, so we are about halfway done on the oak wood. Almost fully done on the spruce wood, and we uh, still have yet to start the dark oak wood because we need to find some saplings. But my axe is pretty, pretty dead, so I need to pop into the end to repair it. And I also ran out of bones, so I grabbed some more. And right, I wanted to talk to you guys whilst I go and repair my axe. I wanted to talk to you guys about what series you want to see on the channel. That shouldn't be there, okay. Apart from SMPDX. So, yeah, do you want me to revive the Lord of the Rings series? I'm thinking about doing that anyway, because I used to have really great fun doing that, and I know a lot of my subscribers were from Lord of the Rings. So, if you want to see that back, just let me know in the comments. If you want a modded series that isn't Lord of the Rings, so like a more technical one like Crack Pack or 1.7.10 Pack or something like that, let me know, or if you just want to see more vanilla videos or other series, or maybe even other games altogether, just let me know down in the comments. And uh, I'm also going to take this sort of mid video interruption to say, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, if you could comment down below what sort of series and videos you would like to see, that would be very helpful. But before you get absolutely deafened by that noise, uh, I'm going to get to repairing my axe and get back to chopping. Okay, so guys. I have finished chopping all the trees, also my XP has gone down because I have done this. I put blast protection on my god armor, only on the chest plate though, I need to get some more stuff to do that. But as you can see in here we have got all of the wood collected up and hopefully we should be linking up with Nano uh, to do some do some playing for the rest of the episode, but we will see if he actually comes through, because unlike me, he's still got school. So, yeah, hopefully we can get this tunnel done today, but we may have to do another project, so I guess I will pop back with you guys uh, as soon as we know what we're doing. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so we're back here with Nano now. He did turn up. Hello, my name is eventually. Nano. Eventually. And we are going to be working on the corridor and this sort of area back here, connecting to the armory. Which should be pretty nice. So, yeah, I guess 
come here, Nano. No. What? Where? To Where? the corridor. To the corridor. All right. Do we want to continue yeah. this yeah. sort of corridor design? Um, around the corner? I don't know. I mean, it could get kind of repetitive. Like, just. Or what we could do is we could have just rooms breaking off at random intervals, and then when we have like a corridor, like, so like if we have a corridor breaking out here, we could also have something just a little thing in the wall across here. Yeah, I see what you mean. You yeah. know, so it's kind of it kind of breaks the pattern in that sense. I think we could do that. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I think the best thing is we just sort of start placing some blocks and see what happens and if we get something together. That sounds good to me. Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's let's get let's get started. I guess. Let's get. Let's just jump right into it. Okay. So, Nano, what have we done? That's me. We have built this quarter. We decided to just go with the pattern we had here. Because, like, when you look at it and you walk down it, it's actually not that repetitive because the edges here kind of... It works well. And if we ever want to do any more quarters off here, we really just got to punch a hole in the wall and do that. Yeah, exactly. The, the last yeah. thing we really need to do now we've done... This was the easy part. we got to now make some sort of room and corridor over here that doesn't look terrible but also means it's not just a cave for us to get into our armory and yeah. also has the potential i guess to have rooms coming off it and corridors coming off it to expand the base yeah but yeah for, for now we just sort of need to get to expanding and building we just need to, we just need to yeah, do it so yeah no no get to work and, and we'll, we'll see I'll, you there I'll, I'll... Well, yeah i am i am at work toby you're the one who's procrastinating i'll just, I'll just sit back and let you videos, work and but... let you do everything and then take credit all right for it. great let's do it yeah excellent Okay, so Nano had to dip whilst we were recording that uh, building, but it is finished-ish. I still don't know what to do with the roof, but as you can see, we continued the corridor out to here. Then we, I built this little room after Nano had to uh, leave, so yeah, I think I think it does the job. I, it's nothing outstanding, nothing breathtaking like Keanu Reeves, but it is pretty good i just need to work out what to do with the ceiling i don't know whether to just do the spruce wood or do something like we've got in here with the um bricks uh i might do that i don't know but that is the only thing i've got left to work out and i have uh, seen some of your comments on the first episode saying that you're glad i'm back which is brilliant thank you so much for welcoming me back and that video has actually done pretty well as my videos go, so I hope to continue that with this series. And yeah, I'm going to get to sort of working out what to do with this ceiling by starting, of course, with tearing out the roof. And then just messing around with some sort of materials. I might get some more different runs, but for now I'm just going to continue to tear this out and we'll see what happens with uh, the ceiling. Hello guys, so... I have finished the room down below, I will just show you that in one second, and I have realised that that took a lot quicker than I thought it would. You know, I thought that would uh, fill up the rest of the episode's remaining time, but as it turns out, I still have about half the episode in which to do stuff with, so I, I don't know what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll have to think of something, but basically... I went with the bricks and the spruce trap doors, much like we did in the main room over there. I'll show you that because I haven't, I didn't do that on video, obviously, because I only just came back to making videos. So that is that there. Uh, so it continues the style of the base into this room uh, and sort of incorporates the armory style using the stone bricks in here. So this doesn't feel too out of place being quite clean obviously you can't have any wood in an armory because this is where tools are smithed and you know what I'm getting at but anyway uh, I might try and link up with Datnerd to get a project done maybe uh, we'll see or I could just do a solo project but as soon as I know what I'm gonna do there'll be of course a progress update and a jump cut to when that is and what I've decided but I mean I might just have to leave it for today and get on play tomorrow and figure out some stuff but let's yeah let's just let's just see what we're gonna do all right all right we're back and we have got a project to be working on I have linked up with fluff and we're gonna be working on the farmyard area here that's sort of very central of 
town, and we worked on this way back in like episode one. Episode episode one, uh, like day one of the server, way before I was doing episodes again, and it's sort of been abandoned when the activity dropped. So we're going to come back on, work on it a bit more, and today hopefully we're going to get this cow barn sort of redesigned here a bit and get it finished and then hopefully we should be working on these crops back here as well and just sort of working on this area completely so I'm gonna get on and start helping fluff and I'll be right back with you once like some more progress has been done and once a more final idea of what we're gonna be doing has been settled okay guys we are back we've made progress and we're now <laughs> working on demolishing the progress we just made in order to put a staircase through the middle of the build <laughs> That's, yep. that's usually how it goes. But what we've, what we've done so far is we've mirrored the interior of this build, pretty much, and just sort of moved the chimney over this side so it's not obstructing the path anymore, and it makes more sense being on the side of the building. And we were originally going to have a slanted roof down here, but it interfered with the path too much. So now we are making a staircase to get down into the uh, main area of the farmyard through the roof of this thing, which could end up looking pretty cool. Yeah, um, I'm not sure about the material for the path, for the uh, staircase. Yeah, what options do we have for material for stairs? We, uh, we got loads of stairs, to be honest. <laughs> there are too many stairs in the game now. Like, Take them we away, we all the wanted diorites, them and now we want diorite, too many. Uh, probably not, but... Polished andesite, maybe. Normal andesite, maybe. Bricks, I'm tempted to say. Yeah. Bricks. Mm, I've got less loads of, of bricks down in the camera crew HQ I'll go get. But anyway, next time next time you guys um, will see this, it should be done. Okay, so we finished the cow shed for what it is now, unless we decide to tear it down again. And yeah, it's pretty much done. Fluff's here in his wandering trade ahead with unusually matching red colours to his skin. I, I think Fluff might actually be a wandering trader in disguise. He's gone. He's running. <laughs> but I... Yeah. I'm wandering. <laughs> right. Anyway, yeah, I introduced Fluff to some of the new 1.14 things like barrels, lanterns, and the dark oak signs. And we, we finished this up pretty nicely I think it's now one of my favorite little areas on the server because I, I, I'm a sucker for these little random bits you know like you know what I'm getting at yeah, like not big nice. builds they like the little off. finishing bits the little world building aspects of things and yeah it's really nice we set it on the bricks and now our next course of action is just sort of work on more of this area finishing it up you know that sort of thing. Anything you particularly want to do? Yep. Uh, cow barn. <laughs> the cow barn's done. I have a couple more. I have a couple more ideas. I have a couple more. Mainly, I want the roof on the inside to look a bit okay, more yeah, finished. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Well, we're just gonna sort of work on touching up builds that we've already done and working on stuff. But next, next progress update should be. A pretty pretty good one just building things tearing more things down rebuilding things that's the fun fun part actually I, I do enjoy building like this anyway next next time we'll catch you there'll be definitely more progress done all right all right we finished up doing the cow shed that took not nearly as long as I thought it might but it did it was a simple job it looks pretty nice now and now we have officially started to make a llama enclosure because whilst we were working over there about four wandering trainers traders spawned what did we do with the other two llamas did we kill oh yeah we killed them <laughs> <laughs> they were they were yeah, attacking we me we we killed and the they just trader, kept chasing me forever causing the llamas to get angry and start killing us so we killed the other two and then the next time we pushed the trader down a hole and tame the llamas. They're in this hole now. We're going to put them in this big llama enclosure that we're working on now. I did the wall around the outside, and now me and Fluff are going to work on some like sheds and buildings and stuff to go in amongst it, and then we'll work on beauty beautying up the main enclosure itself. There should be some more llamas roaming around the town somewhere that we can find. 
uh, to fill the enclosure. And I I have seen where llamas spawn before that we can go and get. But as for now, we just got to finish making llama stuff. And we are now the official llama farmers of the server. So that is a pretty good title, yes. I think. Okay, so Fluff had to leave, but luckily we got the basis of that building sort of decided upon. And yeah, there's a lot of, lots of activity on today. Nerd and Blade are both on. But yeah, I've been working pretty hard on this building and it's getting there, the la llama pen. It's nearly done. I'll show you exactly what we have left to do. But yeah, hopefully it's what Fluff sort of wanted because this is mainly Fluff's area. But it's sort of mine and his project, kind of. As in, uh, yeah. So, I think this is looking pretty nice. You can obviously see where it needs work now. But Fluff sort of lined it out as how he wanted it was. This was sort of the living quarters up here. So it's made of stone, insulated. You know, that sort of thing. And then it goes into here, which is like the back alley of the llama pens. Where, obviously... There's a storage shed over here for loads of utilities, which is made of wood, not very insulated. It's got access to the llamas as well, and that's all done. And he said he wanted the center bit to be the tallest part, uh, and I made this two stories, but slightly shorter than this. And then this one's going to be lower, but it's going to have a chimney. So that's what needs doing. And the second floor of this building is a storage area for like wheat and other other things like that. So, and that's up on the hill here. So this is sort of a loading area out the back here where you can load up all your wheat. This top bit's not done yet. I need to build a roof on here and finish up the interior. But I like the idea of being able to see through below because when you're below and look up, it could be kind of cool. And obviously this top bit doesn't need to be insulated at all. So it's like uh, all open and nice. And then over here, this bit's not done yet. Uh, this is where we're going to have a roof coming over from here and a bit of a slightly higher bit here. With a chimney that goes up to about here as Fluff's laid out. This is the bit I need to work out now. I don't really know how I'm going to work that out. But I, I think I'm just going to just gonna throw some blocks down see how it goes. But so far I'm really happy with how this bit and this bit has turned out. Uh, I feel like it's, it's, a st it's a style that I've not done really. It's much more simple than the houses and barns I've done way over there. And it's more in line with sort of... Fluff's building style here, and that's probably because he started it off and I've been building with him all day. But hopefully I can get this done, and next time you see this, it should be done, and we should be ready to end the episode. Okay, so this build is about as close to finish as I am going to get it without Fluff being online. So, yeah, I'll show you that just after we slept. Basically, uh, you saw all this outside, but I've now done the interior plus this bit round here. Just simply finished it off by adding a another bit of roof and then this bit with the sort of rundown chimney. That might change. This all could change, to be honest. That needs to change. Uh, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do there. We'll sort that out in a minute. I'll sort that out after the camera's turned off. But camera? We're not using a camera. The recording thing. Anyway. Interior, we got a lantern just for lighting, a lead to lead the llamas in there is just the outside into the llama pen. This is a bit more of a luxury-ish uh, farmer's hand area than over there in the cow barn. Purely because they get a bed, whereas the other one didn't. And of course we got the fireplace, like from above, a small carpet, bucket and an item frame, just simple table, another lantern. Some storage, crafting table, you know, all the good stuff. This interior will probably get updated as well. This is just sort of what I could throw together with the resources I had on hand. And in here, just added some lanterns. If you look up, you can see through to the upstairs bit, like I said earlier. No llamas in here as of yet. And then in here... We added, of course, a table with a lantern, another lantern, some barrels and a composter uh, stacked up in the corner. This will probably get some more utilities in it, but I really don't have anything. I don't have the time to do that right now. And then up here, we have no hay bales, because I think Fluff logged off with them in his inventory. 
But this is where all the hay bales are going to be going. And yeah, apart from that, I think that is this build done. It could use some tweaking, and when Fluff gets back on, uh, when Fluff gets back on, I'm a derp. Uh, tomorrow or whenever I next play with him, we'll probably come on and uh, tweak this a little bit, which should be very, very good. But as for now, it is done to a stage at which I'm happy with it. It's just whether Fluff comes on and wants to make any tweaks, which I'm sure he will, which is obviously greatly appreciated because this is uh, his build just as much as it is mine. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of SMPDX, the first one where we're properly back, making progress. I hope you have enjoyed. If you want to see anything else other than SMPDX or any other projects in SMPDX, don't be afraid to comment below. I read every comment because I don't get that many. And yeah, make sure you subscribe for more, turn notifications on, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.